Kia ora Today I have a story called The Battle of the Mountains by Peter Gossage. You can see the wonderful illustrations of the front. Look at all the characters that are going to be in our story. Long, long ago, Maui caught a huge fish called Te Ika Maui from the ocean. See the big Ika here? This is where I live, Whanganui Hara at the bottom in Wellington. See Maui and his whanau on the waka? Slowly but surely, the fish settled and became <coughs> the North Island of New Zealand. In the centre of its back, around Lake Taupo, stood a group of seven mountains. Their chief, the mighty Tongariro, scowled at the other mountains. Taranaki, with his cloak of snow, frowned back. Can you see your frowning face? Tohara and Putaki were smaller than Taranaki, but they also glared at the mighty Tongariro. All of these mountains loved a beautiful lady mountain named Pihanga. Pihanga was sad about the trouble that was brewing between her mate, Tongariro, and the other mountains. Their children, Rua Pehu and Ngarabui, Played happily, unaware of the tension that was building between their parents and the other mountains. One by one, the male mountains challenged Tongariro, each wanting the beautiful Pihanga for his bride. Oh, they're gonna fight! Taranaki rushed at Tongariro, blasting red hot, hot rocks at his rival. They met with a deafening crash. <laughs> Tongariro held fiery boulders back at Taranaki. Can you see them throwing at each other? Putawaki and Tohara rushed Tongariro from behind. Blows of boiling lava spilled from their craters towards Tongariro's back. There's all the lava coming out. Ooh, they must be hot. Pihanga cried out a warning. Oh, look out! And Tongariro was able to dodge the molten rock. For days the battle raged. The earth shook and the great chunks were knocked off the feuding mountains. Oh, they're so grumpy, aren't they? Look at them. <coughs> at last, Tongariro's strength and courage won the battle. The three defeated mountains retreated under the cover of darkness. Taranaki headed west towards the setting sun. His great weight carved the deep valleys of the Manganui, Te Ao and Wanganui rivers. So we go all the way over there? That's where my mum's from. Tohara keep looking back at Pihanga, and only reached the northern end of Lake Taupo. Putoaki went further, reaching the Kangaroa Plains. Then the sun's rays froze the fleeing mountains, and they became rooted to the spots that they had reached. Oh, let's see the story. And there's some, um, some activities that we could do if you come back to Kindy and you've won. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it, everyone. See you soon.